How's it going everybody? My name is Dustin. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a castle. When you look at an image for reference, let's say, any one of these, I typed it in Fantasy Castle, you gotta notice one defining trait. They're all just basic shapes, really. You see the squares, the squares, but then you add these up and end up making a castle. So, in reality, it's just made up of a couple simple parts. A few squares, some circular things, and some arches. You put those together and you get yourself a beautiful castle. So let's just jump right on in and show you what I mean. Okay, so I've opened up a blank scene here in Blender, and I've deleted the starting cube. What you want to do is go into orthographic mode, and then front view. So the first thing we want to do is create one of the towers, which is really easy. You'll add a cube, you'll tab in edit mode, and just turn my display keys on, and then you'll just grab the top pieces and pull them up however far you want. Right? Okay. Now, you can extrude this. Sorry, extrude, and then click right away. Then size it up. Now you want to extrude and pull it upward. You're starting to get the top piece down. So, extrude, click right away, size it down, and extrude to pull it down. You're starting to get the first piece, but as we all know, castles have bumps. Now this is obviously too long, so I'm going to want to grab all of these, pull them down. I'll grab these, pull them up by one. And, okay, so we'll say this is our first little tower piece. Now to keep this simple, we're going to just add another cube, and we'll size it down. Then we'll go into top view, and we'll pull it to say, let's put it there. Shift D on the X, Shift D on the X, and we'll do it one more time. Now I've taught you guys how to make a model just by doing one of the corners, and you could easily do that as well. But for some reason when I make my castles I always want full control over the pieces. So I'll grab all the four that I've done, those aren't centered, that's fine, I guess I'll fix that now. I'll just tweak this a little bit, pull this in, yeah, this is probably a little bit too far, we'll leave it like that. Now I'll just press L to grab all the pieces that I want, remember if you mouse over and you press L it'll grab the entire full mesh, and we'll shift D, probably grab it on the Y, and we'll pull it down in this direction. Good. Now L to grab the middle pieces, shift D, click right away, R to rotate, and then 90. And there you go. You start to make your tower look better. But obviously we know the castles have a lot more detail than that. So, let's take one of these. I guess we'll take the whole front row. We'll go to front view, shift D, grab it, and we'll put it about there. Hmm. You know what? We don't need those two. It won't fit the way... Well, I guess we'll need one of them. We won't need this one. It doesn't fit the look that I'm thinking of. So, L delete vertices L, L, and L. Now we'll slide these in to there. Pull these in just a little bit. Something like that. that over. And just leave it like that. Alright. Go to the side view. And we'll want to grab the front face, pull it here. And then we'll grab this face, pull it in like that. So now you've created this bumped piece. It still has a face on the bottom to give it a little bit, or a lot I should say, more detail. So we can do the same process we had before, we'll grab these, top view, shift D to duplicate, pull it over there, but now we have to rotate on the 180, so that way it's facing the right way we want. Go into side view, make sure it's sticking out a good amount, that's fine. Press L three times, and you click all three of those faces. Uh, top view, shift D, click right away, rotate 90. We've now got our first tower piece. And we can leave the shape for now. So let's just push this aside. Alright. Now with the castle you'll realize all your pieces are going to look just like this. You can have a six sided one, which I'll time lapse right now and make for you. Okay. So now I have this piece as well. If I wanted, I could also add more detail by, let's say, grabbing these vertices, pulling those down, and then you'll notice it has a lot more detail in those front pieces, so maybe I'll just do that, just for reference sake. And if you look at the top view, I didn't even line these up nicely, but you don't really notice when you zoom out. I did that on purpose, just to illustrate this point. When you're making something so big, it doesn't really matter if you line everything up, but you will realize, as I get farther on with this, it's going to become messy to look at. So when you rotate things, let's say around this, 
you want to make sure you always give them all the same rotation. So this top piece I didn't, the bottom piece I did. And then you can see some of these are pulled in more than others. But what you want to do is give the same rotation. So figure out what this angle is and rotate all of these by that same angle. Or else you realize you're going to have the case that I have where it just becomes confusing to look at. So pull all these down, let's say about to there. Alright, looks good. So now if we look at our two layers, we have two pieces of a castle already. The next thing we're going to want to do is obviously a connecting piece. So that's pretty simple, right? Let's move this over to the other layer. Shift S to move our cursor to the center. And we're going to add in a cube. Okay, so tab in edit mode. We'll grab it on the, the Z by one. Or the X, sorry. No, that was the Z. Okay, now we're going to size it up on the X. Let's say for two, that's fine. It's not going to be the same size as everything else, but we'll fix that so it will be afterwards. Now we're going to give it a loop cut, and we'll put it about here. Because we don't really want to wait, raise one side as opposed to both sides. So we'll grab this and we'll extrude it a little bit. Good. Now, let's go in our front view, and we'll add the squares like we've been doing before. So we'll size this one down, put it about there, bring it to the front, and good to go. The one thing I forgot to do is to take this face and extrude it outwards. So then we take this, three, pull it, then we can grab this piece here and pull it down, and then we get something like that. I like that look. Yes, I like that a lot. We'll leave it like that. It's a little bit different for a castle. Normally you wouldn't see something like this, but that's fine. We'll grab it. Oh, sorry. Shifty. Shifty. And we'll pull it over here. I guess I should grab it on the X. Two. Oh, those, these are obviously really small shapes, eh? Grab on the X, and we'll pull that size in. And we'll put one over there. And we'll just play with these once again at random. But you guys should always make sure the spacing is the same. I'm just doing this to save time. Um, I feel like it needs five. I don't know, it just doesn't look full with four. So I'll grab these, pull them in, pull it in, duplicate, pull it there. Maybe space this out just a little bit more. Good. So let's, let's look at our other layer here. That's actually going to be an appropriate size, because it'll be going here. It's going to even be too wide. I can fix that easily. If you tab in edit mode, top view, we're going to want to grab this vertice and we'll pull it down, let's say about that far. Now we take everything, we do shift control alt c. Remember that? Shift control alt c or shift alt, whatever it showed there. And then we're going to do origin to geometry. Oh, that was awkward. <laughs> tab out. Shift Control Alt C origin to geometry. All right. Or origin to center of mass too. I prefer center of mass. Let's put it right in the center. That's good. Okay. So if we look at our pieces, you'll start n noticing that we have a pretty good set for a little castle. But there's a couple things we're missing. We're missing an archway, and we're missing nice little uh, fancy Disney towers. So let's duplicate this, and we'll move one to this layer, and we'll leave the other one in the first layer, and let's only look at that first layer. So let's go in edit mode in front view as always, and we're going to actually delete this face, X, and the new faces. That way the vertices are still there, but that is gone, and we're going to have to delete this edge too. So X, edges. Good. Now in front view, let's Hmm. Cursor to center is fine for now, it doesn't really matter. Shift A, and we're going to add a circle. We'll put this at 8. That's fine. If we rotate it, it'll rotate in the view we're looking at, and that'll give us a weird angle if you look, see? So what we're going to want to do is rotate it on the X by 90. So it's perfectly flat, and it's going upwards. Inside view, we'll go over here, we'll grab it, and we'll put it about there. Good, that'll be a nice arch. So front view. Next thing, we're not going to need these vertices. So let's delete those, delete those, make sure it's on vertices delete. And we'll take that, 
and we'll duplicate it. Let's pull it down. Oh, sorry. We'll extrude it and pull it down. There we go. Okay. Next, we'll delete this face. And we'll delete this last face. Cool. So, L to, gla to grab this. And we'll pull it to any view you want. Shift D. Click right away and then pull, pull it outwards. Try to get as close as possible to the back side. This isn't that important because what we're going to do is take all of these, size it up on the Y, and then if you type 0, it aligns it all perfectly in line. Good. Now we're going to do the same with all these vertices in this row. So all of those, what I did here was Shift and Alt to grab the whole thing and keep my selection that I have. And we'll size it up also on the Y by 0. Alright, let's go into front view. Grab all the bottom vertices, size it on the Z by zero. And now everything's perfectly lined up and flat. Now all we have to do is just fill in the faces. So we'll fill here, and we'll fill here. Fill, fill. I'll time lapse this so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Okay, so if you notice at the end there, I made an irregular shape. We don't really want that, so instead we'll just take these two vertices, we'll do Alt-M, and we'll say at last. Good, and we'll do the same with this side as well, Alt-M at last. So now the bottom shape is still on 4. As you can see, but it's no longer a regular shape. And now we have a nice archway. And maybe for this archway we might want a raised piece on the other side. If that were the case, what I would recommend now is you, were just a, you would just add a modifier of a mirror and instead of on the X, play with it till you get the right side you want, you put on the Y. Good. Take everything, pull it out, turn clipping on, drag it into the size you want, and then just remember to go over here and delete all the faces. So now you have the walk or the bumps up on both sides. Cool. The last thing I need to show you how to make is the Disney style towers. Once we have those that last piece, we can then start actually assembling the castle. So the it's pretty easy. You can go in any view you want, you can even go random, and we'll, you know, add in you can press yeah, shift A. We'll add in a circle. And we'll put it down to six. Yeah, that looks good. Tab net mode, fill, and we'll extrude to about here. Okay. So when you type in any kind of Disney castle, I guess there's only the one kind, right? Let me just get a look at it. Alright. You'll notice what they do is they'll have this part, it'll be extruded, and it gets sized up. Maybe they'll even do it again. Then look extrude and size it down. They'll do something like that. And then they'll make the actual tower part. Or the blue part, right? Where it comes in like this. So what I'm doing here is extruding and then just sizing it down. Shoot Alt M at center. So you get something like that. That's how they typically do their style. It's kinda kinda goofy looking, but still magical, I guess. But that's what you need for the Disney style castle, right? There's not that much effort really. What you could do then is add more squares in here if you wanted, right? Start giving it more and more detail. And then you may want to add the windows. But the windows are going to keep separate. The reason being is those windows are going to get reused throughout the entire castle and we're going to want to place them at random so they're going to be their own object entirely. 
And for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to add too much detail to this, but we'll leave it like that. So let's pull it over here and look at everything we've made. Voila. You're probably wondering, how does this make a castle? Well, watch. I'm going to assemble something just by using the shapes that we've made and by resizing. So I'm going to time lapse now. Okay, so I've now made the basis for a castle. What I want to stress to you guys is not to do what I just did. And what that is, is I didn't make the materials first. So what you want to make sure you always do when you make your modular parts, give them their textures, assign it to them properly. Because now, when I UV texture this, I'm going to have to do this piece separate from this piece, separate from this piece, all of those over again individually and it could have just been once and just save me a lot of time. So I'm not going to show me texturing it in this tutorial because that's just silliness on my part and a mistake on my part. But I will show you what it looks like in game. Okay. Okay, so if you look here, this is the castle that I made a long time ago for the castle uh, scene with the dragon in it. Now, this one took me a lot longer to make because it was also my first castle just to realize the process. And there is a lot more detail on it than the one I just made in the tutorial. But nonetheless, the one in the tutorial still looks great. I don't know how long that took, maybe like 30-40 minutes, but not even that long, right? Now obviously I'll add more detail to it, like some windows, uh, guards maybe, some weapons of some sort, who knows. Uh, when you go inside you can see this is where like you can add a town. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can still add to this, right? But this is just from four simple objects being placed, and then in here you'd have Maybe some stairs with a giant door that leads into like the main king's palace area. So, the one thing you're going to notice with this method is that these places up here, because they're so sized up, they just obviously get way too big. Like that was meant to be for someone to stand in down there and look out. What you'd have to do in that case, when you size something up like this, is size it up in edit mode, and then add more, um, I don't even know what you call these, bumps of the original size all the way across and then make sure that the place down there stays the same size as well or else you get the situation where it was just way too big but there should be a bridge over here maybe I can jump onto it let's see if I make the jump yes also same deal right because I've sized it up so much you're gonna wanna make sure it's not over the top but then again if you're going for that look too that could work this I personally think this is a good size here because now it's just like awesome awe-inspiring sheer size huge castle it for my purposes it works it looks very cartoony over the top I like it so thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe tell me what you guys thought about it and tell me also what you want to see for future tutorials take care everybody